Hello, this is Hawker Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-140, also known as the Incomplete Ar Chronicle. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have a number, SCP-140, Object Class Keter, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-140 must never be brought closer than 15 meters to any source of standard ink human blood or other fluids suitable for writing. Any contamination by blood or ink must be reported immediately. Any remaining ink copies of SCP-140 created during the initial printing must be found and destroyed as soon as possible. Only SCP-140 is to be reserved for purposes of study, early warning, and cataloging, and recording possible SCPs derived from its subject matter. SCP-140 is contained at Site-76 in a sealed vault, containing a single desk. At this time, no research is to be carried out upon the original SCP-140. Researchers are to read from prepared copies, not bank signatures of its author, which lack its properties. In the event of approved research, SCP-140 may not be removed from the vault, and readers may not be in contact with it for longer than 9 hours. Access requires written approval from the head researcher for the explicit purposes of testing. An armed guard stationed outside the vault will, will meet any attempt at theft with deadly force. Should any personnel begin displaying obsession with SCP-140 or, or signs of possible memetic contamination, they are to be issued a Class A amnestic, false memories implanted as necessary, and transferred to another project. Transferred personnel, personnel must be monitored for time for signs of relapse. Description SCP-140 is a modern hard copy book with an unremarkable black biting and an unknown number of white pages. The book jacket is missing, but the title of Chronicle of the Deva is clearly illegible. The inside cover is, co is signed by the author, whose name is indecipherable. The text is copyrighted 19 redacted. Careful examination reveals that there are far more pages between bindings than could be contained within them. Readers admit to feelings of paranoia, unease, and occasional nausea while reading SCP-140. Although this may be related to subject material, nonetheless, readers almost universally describe SCP-140 as fascinating and express continued interest, despite its frequently unsettling content. One fifteen readers describe SCP-140 as having a faint odor of dried blood. SCP-140 is a detailed account of an ancient civilization originating in what is now South Central Siberia. I think you might uh, I remember this from way back when I um, covered the psychic cult. They were enslaved by the Deva. Identified as the Devites. Although like all cultures, the Devites evolved and changed over time. They appear to have existed and have exhibited unusual continuity. Universal fixtures of the Devite culture in all periods included merit militarism, conquest, and ancestor worship, urban centers, ruling over large slave populations, gruesome sacrifice, and the practice of apparently efficacious thaumaturgic rituals. A variety of relics and creatures produced by the Davite culture would be abnormal or dangerous enough if the account is believed to qualify for containment in their own right. If SCP-140 comes into contact with any pseudo- with any fluid it's suitable for writing, including human blood, the account of the Davite civilization's history expands. Human blood appears to be the most potent of possible writing substances, but in any case, the amount of new material does not correspond proportionately to the fluids introduced. All these new segments sometimes include new descriptions of rituals or cultural traits or, or illustrations of previously covered material, 
they more frequently include new, more recent accounts of information chronically. The continued history of the day by a civilization or descriptions of new individuals and artifacts. Formerly decisive defeats become setbacks. New persons and events are inserted. Foundation archaeologists have discovered corresponding new artifacts and traces of the Davite civilization in applicable locations and strata. In some cases, found in dig sites that had already been thoroughly explored. Although at times, the Davites were a collection of city states that appear to have consistently returned in imperialism under a bureaucratic aristocracy, the Davite. Practitioners of cannibalism and thaumaturgy, although initially foundation researchers believed the Deva to be a, to have been a hereditary class, recycling the names of new outworthy individuals, evidence and the events of an unknown date now suggest the Deva possess preternatural longevity as a result of redacted. Several researchers, notably Professor Redacted, have concluded Deva were so divergent from modern humans as to be a separate subspecies. A conclusion supported by graphic representations within SCP-140 and data expunged. SCP-140 is remarkably detailed by the standards of a primary source, seeming close to biographic than historic text. It includes lurid descriptions of sacrificial rites, battlefield descriptions, daily life, and the life stories of various noteworthy individuals including quotes and dates of birth. Over redacted, distinct individuals have been identified, including the individual presently termed SCP-140-A, of which only redacted are accounted for recorded deaths. Foundation archaeologists have discovered several sites containing ruins consistent with the supposed Davite culture in various locations of Karas, Siberia, Northern Iran, and Mongolia. Artifacts and traces of the intercultural conflict and contact have been discovered as far west as the Carpathian Mountains and as far northern as Pak no, as far east as Pakistan and China. These include SCP Redacted. Addendum 140A. SCP-140 was originally found in the office of a deceased historian Redacted. The previous his owner was discovered in his office at Redacted University, having expired from self inflicted lacerations on both wrists. There were no traces of Redacted its blood in the office. Redacted's colleagues exclaimed during interviews that A discovered a note in fade in ink in Redacted's handwriting next to SCP-140. All witnesses were administered Class A amnesics and false memories implanted. Redacted's note oath read, I have to know, I'm sorry. All text within 15 years except several books relating to the history of the region were blank. The remaining books now included its accounts of supposed interaction between the Davite civilization and the subject cultures or applicable discussions of Davite history and culture. These texts were confiscated. All printed forms and media were blank. All pens, printers, and ink cartridges were empty. Addendum 140b. Although SCP-140 was published during the 20th century, the tone of the book suggests it is a recounting of events, individual, and practices experienced firsthand by SCP-140's unknown author. Foundation investigators have tracked SCP-140's publication to the data expunged printing house in a batch of redacted copies, self-published by a wealthy individual hereby termed SCP-140-A. The SCP-140-A signature on the contract matches the strange signature inside SCP-140. More than 40-something of the copies produced in dispatch were apparently leached of all ink by the remaining ink redacted copies. To date, Foundation agents have recovered and destroyed redacted of the remainder, between redacted and redacted remain at large. Two expansion events have been reported during periods when SCP-140 had never been exposed to fluids of any sort, or removed from its bolt. Alt. An investigation and manhunt for the author or of SV-140 is ongoing. In the event of contact, agents are advised that are redacted. 
the dead of 140C. Through study of SCP-140 and other contained objects related to the Davite civilization, Foundation researchers have concluded that transposed to the modern area, the resurgence of a hostile Davite civilization in history in modern and a redacted CE would constitute a grave and even possibly retroactive threat to the Foundation and modern civilization as we know it. Even best case scenario projections of Davite resurgence in modern day suggest a C-class restructuring of modern society and a worldwide conflict with a projected death toll of at least redacted and an end to the Foundation's secrecy. Addendum 140 ED Redacted's journal found on his home PC and data expunge indicates that upon his initial reading of SCP-140, it ended with almost utter destruction of Davite civilization and genocide of all known on Deva in the 200-something BCE by the forces of the Chinese general o o Kin Kai. As a result of subsequent containment breaches, including those detailed in the journal, copious quantities of new material have been added, describing survivors regrouping and migrating to another region of central Siberia, rebuilding their empire steadily, and continuing to advance culturally and, technolog and technologically. At present, the empire is described as having been crushed by Genghis Khan during the early period of his conquest, although the fates of many important persons in several cities remain ambiguous. Foundation archaeologists will be dispatched to expunge for investigation and research. After Addendum 140E. After the incident on a redacted date at re that expunged dig site, resulting in redacted casualties, all Foundation archaeologists excavating sites of suspected Davite artifacts or ruins are to be accompanied by a fully armed security team. SCP-141 has been neutralized. SCP-142 remains at large. All other anomalous contacts and artifacts were destroyed when the dig site was struck by a cruise missile. Agent Redact has received a commendation and was treated for post-traumatic stress disorder. Dr. Redacted received a post posthumous commendation for courage. An investigation into the possible involvement of SCP-140 or the agents in the event of Redacted is ongoing. Anyway, that was SCP-140. The book that keeps on writing itself when it can. To so basically try to write a civilization known as Deva into modern history. And if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!